right, we are back here at Nationwide Prime Time in Nashville, and excited to be sitting down with Richard Barron, owner of Eastland Office Supply in Eastland County, Texas. Appreciate you taking the time and joining us. Appreciate uh, it. You, you recovered from Top Golf? Hey, I recovered from Top Golf. <laughs> Had a lot of fun. You just showed everybody up. That's the thing, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, well, you know, I did. But what are you going to say? No, I, I appreciate you taking time off of the, coming off of the uh, show floor here at Prime Time to chat with us. So. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and uh, your business. Okay. Well, I, I own a re brick and mortar retail store in Eastland, Texas. Um, I've owned it for about 12 years now. Uh, we started out, we were just a Radio Shack store with an office supply combination. Uh, through the business years and challenges, things changed. Radio Shack kind of made a change in our business and when they went out of business, basically. And uh, so we've uh, kind of migrated into some other fields and we now do appliances electronics, you know, a lot of different things, just whatever it takes to make to keep the doors open, you know? <laughs> so what what got you into this? What made you want to be in this business? Well, actually what happened with Nationwide, uh, how I found out about it was uh, when Radio Shack went bankrupt the first time, it was the big, the big bankruptcy basically, uh, Nationwide went out and did a, was a, a calling on all the Radio Shack stores. And our rep came by and talked to me and, and he actually gave me a brochure and in that brochure, I saw one of my cohorts with uh, Radio Shack that I knew real well. And I called him up and asked him have, how Nationwide had benefited him and was it something to look into. And uh, in that conversation, I decided, yeah, it was worth a try. We'd give it a shot because we needed some more outlets to, to find product yep. uh, to replace the, the hole that was left by the Radio Shack business. So we, we, we joined Nationwide and, and it actually, it's changed my business a lot because it's gave us more opportunities that we never had before. Uh, and that's, that's important to me. I mean, you know, as an independent retailer, the more we can have access to products, the better off we are. And, and even if you're not in that business, I mean, I'm not necessarily in the furniture business, but I have access to it. Right. I wasn't in the appliance business and never really logistically, it didn't prove out for me to right. be that way. But due to a change in the business forms, we're now in appliances and actually our business has increased in that area of our store. So it's cool that, that we're able to access more products and do things that to keep us on a, a different path to keep people in the store. No, that's awesome. So going back even further, what what got you or, you know, made you want to be in the retail business? <laughs> I don't know that I ever wanted to be in retail. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, no, I... Uh, I'm kind of an electronics geek. I love electronics and stuff. And uh, I, I came out of, uh, I worked for Southwestern Bell Mobile Systems and AT&T, became AT&T. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I was an engineer for them. Then I became a, a, an IR and r manager. I said management. And I was tired of, of the, the, the corporate and I wanted to own a business. And uh, the radio shack in our town became available. Yep. I, I had a background in electronics, so that fit well with me. I also had a background in, in some of the office supply type of stuff. So it, it was a good fit, a good time for me to change positions. So I, I bought the store. I wasn't uh, a big on the retail side. I didn't I never run a retail store, but uh, you can learn the hard way, you know. <laughs> and that's kind of what we've done. No, that's awesome. What, what's what been your biggest challenge as a retailer today? Today, the biggest challenge is getting supply. The, the supply side of it. Uh, you know, we I don't have the warehouse space to, to warehouse a whole bunch of product. So... Uh, that's been a challenge. You know, we had worked on a just-in-time model, uh, right. calling a re you know calling a distributor. He has it in stock. We get a couple of days later, and that model worked really well for us. But today, it's made a we had we've had to adjust, and, and we're still adjusting. And how you know how has membership with Nationwide helped to address that challenge? They do a good job in keeping us informed of what's going on. Uh, we hear a lot of Arcadia from from Arcadio. He's he's my rep, and and he lets us know the things that are going on puts us in touch with, with various supply chains to help us get those things, That's you know, awesome. and, and through the, we're a member of HTSN and Hank's done a good job in helping us with that. Uh, just keeping you aware of what's going on. You know, you, if you know what's going on, you can kind of address it. So what, you talked about it a little bit ago, but you know, what has been the biggest benefit of membership, you know, for you? The biggest benefit is is the, the ability to buy from multiple sources and having access to the different vendors that you don't normally, you know, you normally can't, if you don't have this kind of membership, how do you get in touch with a Maytag or an LG, or how do you get in touch with some of these people and actually get somebody that's gonna to listen to you? You know, you're a small fish in a big pond. You know, you gotta, you're trying to compete with big box stores. You've gotta have that voice that 
that will get their ear. Yeah. And Nationwide provides that. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.